So today we're going to run Jason and uh, these gentlemen through the combat fitness test. That includes a half mile timed run, includes uh, an ammo can lift, which is two minute timed event, and then they have to do a maneuver under fire course, which is pretty much a 200 yard obstacle course that they have to run to. It includes you know, doing a buddy carry, carrying ammo cans for a resupply point, and throwing a grenade. Um, depending on if you make or miss it, it's five seconds plus or minus on your final time. So be a good one. And then after that, we'll probably run them through a, a tour of the facility, let you guys jump in some trucks, uh, check out some of the weapons that you probably normally don't get to handle, and uh, let you use some MREs today. But just a better understanding of who we are, the Marine Corps here in Sardin Longoria. There's about 80 of us active duty throughout the uh, states of uh, Illinois and uh, Iowa and Wisconsin that train a reserve infantry battalion that's stationed throughout. There's five different sites there. We're the active duty cadre that bring them together on a monthly basis and in the summer to make sure they're ready. That 2nd Battalion, 24th Marines, the sign out there, and they've actually deployed, deployed twice to Iraq in 04 and 08 and 09. And did uh, two seven month increments out there and, and had their share of uh, courageous sacrifices that are out on the wall if you have time and you want to look at those. So for us on the active duty side, it's really an honor to be here. And for a lot of us, it's somewhat of a break. Um, some of us are 20 plus year Marines. Uh, there's all different types of specialties in here. Sergeant Major was in special ops and he'll talk to you. And there's been multiple Iraq and Afghanistan deployments. Um, so um, this is a, a very much welcome two years for most of us. And it's really a privilege to be here. We love Chicago. None of us are really from here, but uh, it's a great place to be. And you know, all I'll say about football, great game. I think it helps define America. It's really enjoyable to, to see it on TV, and I think it goes a lot in um, defining the character of Americans. And we like kinetic, like sports, or quick action and high impact, and just athletics in general. And it's real neat when the Olympics come together to see how well we perform, because I think it is a, a very important characteristic that we carry with us. We're really good at this stuff, and we're very competitive. Just wanted to say thanks, and you know, Sergeant Major Jones, please. Thanks, sir. Um, just glad you're here today, and uh, hope you guys can have some fun, and see what we do on a daily basis, and uh, uh, what you do here with the CFT. Just remember that all Marines are required to do this. And uh, six months out of the year, we, we we train for the CFT, and then the other six months we train for the PFT. Give it your all, and, and have some fun. And, Hopefully you can keep up with, uh, with, uh, with our guys. Let's get know your scores <laughs> after. <we're... laughs> you try. Gentlemen, ready? I'm ready to go. Okay, to move me? Okay, thank you guys for having us. Thanks, we appreciate so much. Yeah, where are you from? Yeah, we'll be out there. I'm from Florida. All right. We'll be out there. We'll be peeking. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see how you guys do. Yeah, we'll we'll see how you fare. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sure not. No, I got it. The CFT consists of three events. Movement to contact, the ammunition lift, and maneuver under fire. No deviation from the above sequence is authorized. All CFT events will be conducted in a single session, not to exceed two hours in duration. Transition between events should afford Marines adequate time to recover, stretch, hydrate, and prepare for the next event. Rest between events will be no less than five minutes. So you guys will get five minutes between each event, because like I said, normally there's a lot of Marines. Okay. And I get a little bit of a, a break, so it won't be unfair to y'all. Again, proper lifting technique. Your partner, put your hand on the small of your, your carrier's back. It helps them support you when you carry it so that way you're not injuring yourself. Now once you have your partner, beeline it all the way to the end of the course. That's all, that's all one thing. All you gotta do, one thing. <laughs> the hardest part is normally you're going, you're carrying somebody within 10 pounds of your body weight. Come on, you gotta go up the challenge. I'm ready, take care of me. Hey Gannon, we be here. Checking my pulse right now. Ready? Go! Oh. <laughs> Come on.
First time running in boots. It's gotta be tough. Don't try this at home. So like they're 100 pounds. And I came in last on the run. <laughs> you guys count, your, you do a partner system? So that way one of you guys does. You guys got plenty of time though, catch. We'll have Corporal's Valdez go first. That way you guys can kind of see one run through go. So it's gotta go out, right? Yep. Like this? Exactly. Alright. Alright, ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, seven, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, eighty. You one, two, three. 84, 5, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Oh. Yeah. That's the easiest thing you yep, get out there. Yeah, it's a 112. <laughs> 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 That's more my speed. That's uh, that running ain't me. <laughs> easiest thing I did all day. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing stuff I can do. Don't judge me by the run. Yeah. I got that. <laughs> that was perfect score. Boots are 11 and a half. That was perfect score. I wore 12 and a half. <laughs> so imagine what my feet are saying. <laughs> Hell, right, please. Do it again. <laughs> hey, that's a perfect score for hey, a 18 year old. Yeah. Sure. Good work. Get that on camera. You got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. It's rolling. perfect score. Yep. That's, uh, gives you a uh, that's above perfect you for you. Yeah. Yeah. Around and, yep. Which I say. Hoorah! 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 All right, so the first thing you normally do once you bust out your meal, you hide all your candy so nobody steals that shit from you, because that goes quick. No, see? I took it from you, didn't even know. That's a bargaining <laughs> chip out in the field. Man. So the biggest thing that you want to do first is heat up your, your main meal. So you just pick that first. What you do is if everyone grabs that pack, okay. so that's your heater. 
right there. Now you'll see, right on there it says, do not fill over this line. If you do, like, you can turn these things into like little MRE bombs, we call them, and throw them, and you know, they'll, they'll boom real loud out there. But all that's necessary, that much water, you kind of move it around a bit, and then this thing will naturally heat up the chemicals that are inside it. So, tear the top of it. Open up your water in the water. Then just fill it up to that line right there. If you go past it, it's not gonna kill it because they don't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> you got ready gun blow yours up. Alright, so you, once you start shaking it, you can already feel it start to warm up a bit. It's looking like water. We got it, dude. So once it starts heating up, I set it back in that box that I took that main meal out of. Then you tuck your main meal in next to it. Put it in there. Let that vapor stay open though, so that vapor comes out. And then no. that's cooking now. You need to save that, right? The vapor. Yeah. No, you can let it out. Yeah. It gets hot fast, huh? That's <laughs> a quick trick you learn in the field. <laughs> so this goes in here. In yep. the box. I put I put this this and this kind of in there at the same time, so that way. That, uh, yeah, put that in there a little bit, and then you set the main meal on, push it down in there with it. Yep, just like that. Not inside the package, just on the outside of it still. Okay, outside just, of yeah, it. just so it touches, and nothing hits the chemicals in there. Just pour it in, or in there? No. Do you have water in it already? Yep. Alright. Once you get here. water in there, and shake it up. Yep. And you just let that go, and... And normally if you start busting out your other stuff, oh, you're going to eat it with one. Get them! I can see the cold, dude. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is a trade chip. You got some yeah, yeah. cobbler, though. Yep. That's that's a, look at that. I'll take that over. Yep. Yep. That's, 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 that's a good trade chip. That's a good trade chip, too. Hey, we be trading, right? Let me get this for that. All right, Tommy, I got yours, buddy. <laughs> All right. We got some drink. Hey, there we go. Some trouble here. All right, check it out. We're going out with my guys. Tommy. Lieutenant T. Roy, no rank J. Mac. <laughs> this is our agent, Chad Henry. It's our agent. Going out in the Humvees, actually the Hummers, should I say. The new race Hummers, they got air conditioning in it. And I'm very thankful for that because me and T. Roy, I can't speak for our two colleagues over here, just finished an obstacle course. They didn't get to partake in because uh, <laughs> we couldn't participate in it, but we, we completed it. My man Jeff here got the highest score. You know, so he, right now he's outranking all of us, so he's in charge right now. We're gonna go man see, win. We're going to go see if we can find out. We're going to go take over Giordano's Pizza <laughs> with the Hummers. That's what we're going to do. All right? Stay tuned for more footage. <laughs> You might have to find your new job after this. Riding around in the Hummer for the summer. As you can see, there's no leg room. There's no leg room. Sir. <laughs> no leg room. <laughs> Doing good. Protected. <laughs> good to go. Got my man Tommy up there on the turret. We're not worried about nothing. Not at all. <laughs> Good way of filming here. We're going to Soldier Field. Tearing it up. Take it over. Hoorah! 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 Drive straight into the pro shop. Got my flag jacket on. Got the helmet on. A little different from a football helmet. Ain't got no face mask. He's just gonna help out Major Hunter real fast. He's got issues in here. Gentlemen, you're free to pick him up, mess with him. You can uh, expect him once the armor gets there and he'll come out and talk to you guys a little bit about him. Uh, back brief, I don't know how much you know about how they have the Marine Corps broken down, but kind of break down to the smallest unit level leadership. Shout out to a fire team. Fire team consists of 
four, there's a fire team leader, and you have your rifleman, your machine gunner, and then the A gunner, who assists him with the ammo and everything like that. So normally, our artillery, your rifleman, we have you know, an M4, A4. This is the 240 ball, and if you guys want to pick it up and see, like there's a machine gunner that this is his weapon that he carries around everywhere with him, and then the ammo that goes along with it. So these are actually everyday use items. The 50 cal obviously is usually mounted on a vehicle. Unless you're Rambo. Yeah, unless you're Rambo. Wow, this thing's light. Yeah. This um, is crazy. The same concept as the M4. Yeah, yeah. But that one oh. is a whole lot of wow. Yo. Yeah. And it's also a This you can kind of hold like this. Fully. Pretty heavy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This you gotta hold like this. The only thing that's bad about it is they, they only allow us to shoot 30 round magazines out. We could put a drone in it, but they're only allowing us to use they uh they 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 work it all over. Yeah. <laughs> Paintball in my house. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> welcome. Whole neighborhood. <laughs> Infantry automatic rifle. Um, nice. Real difference is weight because yeah, people that's don't really want to be carrying this around all the time, and that's just a little more maneuverable because it's a little smaller, you know. That's a that's an AR-15, right? No, uh, pretty much. Yeah, set up with them. Or just yeah. set up set up. Yeah, so, so like in the movies when you see them all these barrel chains, like I mean you can't just. So look at these. Yeah, it's, it's mostly weight. Yeah, so yeah this one's yeah. smaller. But it's the same exact size, huh? Yep, but this one is light. Lighter. So once, we were, that weapon we're actually starting to phase out of the Marine Corps without saying it. Yeah. But what it typically used to be was out of a squad of Marines, just like this. That's heavy too. It's like a death one. <laughs> yeah, that's heavy. Jeez. And for miles. Yeah, for miles. And that's that's how they would walk with us. Now they make y'all they make y'all like do training with, with them guns and now we just running and stuff. All the hikes I heard how many hikes you do, like normally you do 15 mile hikes, 20 miles. With your gun. So that's your that's the gun assigned to you. That's what you carry. So each guy gets assigned to a certain gun. So he's like a specialist with his gun. Yep. But the good thing about a, a squad like that, whenever you have a gunner and an A gunner, both of them can do each other's job. Okay. So, so they share yeah, the pain. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. so technically, one would carry a rifle and the A bag, all the stuff like the extra days, the extra yeah. and everything. And then it breaks into that one squad leader's in charge of his three fire teams. Okay. And then that platoon commander just shooting this, shooting this, shooting this. And then he gets tired and he's like, oh man, I can't do it anymore. His A gunner can just so, take over and not miss the exactly what he's doing. Commanding officer, who you guys want to say, I want to push mark.